Hallelujah, Jesus. I was listening to something, uh, another minister about something and on the internet, and this came to me, and I feel like God wants me to say this. It's a word from the throne. You know, it, God gives us warnings, and this is a warning. This is a real warning from the throne. He's saying, what I got was a short window of time. Short window of time. That short window of time, I know the Lord has given me prophecies many times about different things. And a uh, long time ago, in uh, I think it was 2012, I can't remember when it was, that he told me to prepare for physically with things for the house, food, everything. Make sure I had everything ready for at least 30 days to survive on your own. But this, that's the same avenue. The Lord brought that back to me. Same avenue. He's saying you got a short window of time to prepare physically if you need food, if you need supplies, if you need everything for your own life to survive. A time of disaster, a time of whatever is about to hit because I know God has given me many times that something big is about to happen. And I've heard other little pro other prophets and talking the same thing. Something is, is right around the corners, right there about to happen. But especially, not only preparing physically, knowing you, you have a short window to get food, get everything because... There's been prophecies by, like I said, other prophets that says the stores will be empty. You've seen it already. Things like that happening. But it is time. The most important thing is you better get on your knees now. If you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ in a personal relationship, I almost beg you urgently to know him in a special way. Know him in a close relationship. Know who Jesus is who gave his life for us. To come to him and to repent. You ain't got time. I'm talking to Christians too. You ain't got time to mess around. You ain't, what is that old song? It says you ain't got time to fix the windows. You ain't got time to fix the floors. You ain't got time to do all these things. You got don't have time to party and have all the fun in life, saying, oh, I need to have a life. No, you don't. The true life is in Jesus Christ. You don't have time. We don't have much time. So there's a short window of time to especially get spiritually ready, like he says, to be ready. He says, even many times, seven times in the first three chapters alone, Jesus said, he that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the churches. And that's what he's saying today. To hear what God would say. He says, a short window of time to physically get ready. And spiritually to make sure your life is right before God. To make sure if you are called home yet today even, that you will be ready to meet him. If you don't feel like you're ready to meet him, if you don't feel like you're ready to, know, you could die or something happened to you or something hit your house or whatever, whatever the situation is. If you was to die in the next few seconds after you hear this message, would you know without a shadow of doubt you're going to heaven? Think about it. Because even the Bible says 50% of the church won't make it. There's a thin line. So make sure you're upright and holy. Holy is without sin before God. Holy before God. Knowing that you are ready to meet him in this end time. And we ain't got but a short window of time. And I feel like even then the Lord told me to prepare for 30 days. And I, that same term is we only got like 30 days to 40 days. Or I don't know how long it takes, but a short window of time to get ready. Not only get 
physically ready, spiritually ready, but also get souls saved. It's get busy like never before. We got work to do. And even if something was to happen, you if you're spiritually ready and you spiritually got all that you need from God, or and even if you got extra foodstuffs, you can help somebody that is in need. You can help somebody and reach them for the gospel. You can help them and reach them for and get with whatever foodstuffs they need or uh, anything. I'm even going to take stock of my supplies here in my home. I got some supplies, you know, that I've always stocked to because told me God told me to do it a long time ago to help our church even. But I'm going to take some stock of what we have. Not only physically, I'm going to seek the Lord for myself. And I'm going to tell my husband and show him this video. That we're going to seek the Lord and I'm going to teach this to my church. I do. We don't have time to mess around. Let's get busy seeking his face, preparing ourselves for the end time. We're sure we're living in the end time, but we're only seeing the beginning. We've had prophets and everything that's saying how bad it's going to get. And it's going to get real bad real soon. So that, that short time of window, we need to do something now. While we have time, while we have the energy, while we have the funds, while we have everything that we could ask for. The opportunities, we've got freedoms, we need to do it, use them. Freedoms in God to be blessed. So take this time. In the short window to prepare, he is coming back soon, and disasters are happening real soon. There are already some happening, but I mean disasters like you've never seen that before here in the United States. Persecution like you've never seen before in here in the United States. We're facing some things, so get ready for it especially spiritually.